Well, first of all, um, this was a really outstanding day uh, for me personally. Uh, we had a great crowd out there. I know our players certainly appreciate the support and the passion that our fans have, and uh, it's always good to see um, our fans come out and support next year's team, which is what we're trying to develop. And I think there were some good things out there today, and there are obviously some things that we could have done better. But I think when you match yourself against yourself, you know, sometimes there's mismatches that you really, you know, can't overcome. And I'm not sure we have all the best players on the best teams uh, in terms of there's a lot of competition in the offensive line. Uh, there's a lot of competition at quarterback. Um, there's competition on defense in several positions. There's several players that are missing uh, that didn't go through spring practice that would have a huge impact not only on how they play their position, but the leadership that they show. So I don't think any conclusions can be drawn about anything uh, that happened today other than the fact that this is an opportunity for us as coaches and as a team to look at where we are uh, individually and collectively as a group, continue to evaluate, and use the rest of this offseason to focus on individual improvement for the players that we have uh, so that they can go out there and execute with more consistency. A little disappointing in terms of the offensive false starts and penalties and undisciplined type things that we have worked very hard on this, 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 we, this spring and thought that we had made some progress in those areas that uh, those types of things would not be an issue. So uh, that was a little disappointing. There were some good plays made by some quarterbacks, and I think every one of them probably have some things that they can learn from. Uh, but I saw some good things, and I saw some things that uh, we probably need to do better. We had some drops at receivers from some very good players who don't usually drop passes. We obviously need to make more explosive plays on offense, but when you limit your offense and limit your defense, uh, I'm not sure without a game plan, you know, how much that really happens. And uh, I think in the past, if you want to draw some conclusions that when we've had a new quarterback, in most cases, the defense looks a little better than the offense. Uh, but I did think that the, that the second offense, the, the, the white offense, who missed four field goals out there, moved the ball much more effectively. Damian Harris had a really nice day, uh, looked quick and explosive. and. Uh, did a nice job, and the young quarterbacks did a nice job in making some plays. So uh, I thought their consistency that they played with was a lot better than uh, the actual first team. So, um, you know, just creates more competition uh, and more things for us to evaluate. So um, all in all, I think we've had a good spring and we made progress. And we have a lot of parts that need to come together. Some were absent today. Uh, some will be new players coming in, how those players fit in and get embraced by the rest of our team and the leadership on our team will go a long ways in saying how many of those guys really contribute. Last year, Calvin Ridley contributed to a larger degree as a true freshman. Minka Fitzpatrick, Ronnie Harrison, Deron Payne, several guys on special teams. So all the pieces are not together. But the focus that we want to have is on off-season player improvement, player development. The individuals on our team will make the team what it is, and that's what we want to continue to focus on. So the program from here on out is I meet with every player on Monday and Tuesday, um, whether it's personal, academic, or athletic. Here's things that you're doing well. Here's things that we need to improve on. Uh, here's the plan for us to do it. So. Um, we need to finish strong academically so our guys continue to make progress toward a degree. Most of our guys take a couple, three weeks off in May, and then when we come back for summer school, everybody will be um, focusing on individual improvement again. Okay, we'll start in the middle with Cecil. Thank you. Um, first, Coach, did they ever dial up a corner blitz for you at Kent State, or was that your first career sack today? Excuse me? Was that your, when Blake kind of bumped into you today for a sack, was that your first career, or did you get one at Kent State? Well, I, I think that on occasion, more than on occasion, when there's a scramble, everybody seems to get attracted to me. 
<laughs> Sometimes when there's an interception, there seems to be an unusual attraction for players to converge on me. I think it's intentional to some degree. <laughs> but as long as I don't get hurt, I really don't care. I usually can get out of the way, but I didn't do a very good job of that today. Yeah, if you could just expand on what you saw from the, the two young quarterbacks, Jalen Hurts and uh, Blake Barnett. They both seem to play with some confidence there. Well, I think both guys made some good throws. Both guys showed their athleticism in terms of ability to extend plays. And um, we certainly look a little faster, a little quicker uh, in terms of how we're moving on offense when those two were in there, especially in the first half. Uh, but there's also many occasions where should have thrown the ball hot, didn't, got sacked, should have got rid of the ball, tried to run around, lost 20 yards on the sack. Um, so some of the inexperience shows in some of the negative plays that sort of are like unforced errors in tennis. You know, you don't really need to be taking these plays. If you really knew what you were doing, it has nothing to do with ability, uh, has everything to do with awareness, experience, knowledge, um, and then reacting to what happens. And uh, I, I think that that's going to be the key to the drill with those guys in terms of their development. Um, but they both did some really good things today. In the middle with Josh. <clears throat> and let me say this. Who you're playing against matters. So the twos were playing against the twos. Our two defense is probably not as good as the two offense, in all honesty, especially with, you know, when Jonathan Allen and Dakota Ball, who are both in the two deep, are not in there, then all of a sudden the guys playing on the twos are the threes. Um, Holcomb didn't scrimmage today. Uh, he's got a slight concussion. So, and I, I think that the depth on defense is one of the concerns that we have. So it wasn't surprising to me that the second offense was able to move the ball effectively. But, you know, the first defense played a little better. Um, we have some guys that are mismatch problems and pass rush that really make it more difficult for the quarterbacks to operate. Um, so all these factors are things that you don't look at on the surface. You just kind of look at the result. And then you start drawing conclusions without sort of looking at all the facts. John? I just wanted to see how you would assess the first team offensive line, and within that, just how difficult it was to stop Tim Williams coming Well, we, we, first of all, we don't really have a first team offensive line. Um, those just happen to be the guys that went with the first team today. Uh, a couple of those guys probably will be first team offensive linemen. Shank started all last year. He actually played on the second team today. Uh, and he's going to continue to be on the second team if he doesn't get his weight down and get in shape. Um, but would he be a better first teamer with all the experience that he has? Uh, Cam Robinson will certainly be back playing one tackle. Uh, that could very much affect who plays the other tackle. Uh, so I don't, I don't think it's fair to make assumptions that this is the first team offensive line. Lester Cotton would have probably played right tackle better than the right tackle today, but we're trying to develop him as a guard because we think that's where he's going to end up playing next year. So th this is, don't draw conclusions because if you do, you're going to be wrong. You can draw them if you want and just be wrong. I guess you all don't have any consequences for being wrong all right, like we do because everybody watches us on ESPN and CBS and – so when we make mistakes, everybody knows it. You had a number of former players come back for today. I know they presented you with a gift last night. Just wondering what you thought and your feelings about the appreciation they have for you that they all came back and did that for you. Well, it was uh, really heartfelt for me. Um, you know, I've talked before about lots of guys coming back for the Clemson game, being in the locker room after the game, staying around to talk to me, um, for all those guys to get up last night, there had to be 30 or 40 of them uh, in there that have played 
on our team since we've been here in the last nine years and say some of the things they said and give me a, an, a golf bag and a, uh, some things on a, on a golf club, you know, very, very touching. But, but, but at the same time, it's exactly what we're trying to do in terms of helping people more, be more successful in the program, whether it's their personal development, the lessons that they learn so they can be more successful in life, whether it's making sure they get an education so they have a better chance at a quality of life, um, and how they developed as football players. So all, all these things are the goals that we have for the program. So it really makes me feel good when guys come back and they say things like, you helped me do that. Uh, the program helped me do that. The people in the program helped us do that. Uh, and to see that appreciation, that's, uh, and, and, it, and it should not go just for me. It goes for a lot of people. Uh, I drive the bus, but we got some really quality people here in a lot of ways from the, our administration uh, right on down that contribute to uh, having the kind of program that we have that helps the players benefit and create value for themselves. Hey, as far as some of the young outside linebackers with Christian Miller and Anthony Jennings, how, how have they come along since the end of last season and what did you see from them today? Well, I think both guys have improved. I know Christian had a couple sacks today and um, he's got some pass rush ability. Anthony Jennings probably has improved as much as anybody over this course of this spring practice. But of course, he, he, he has the opportunity because last year he was hurt, so he missed part of the season. When he came back, he was just on the scout team. So he was really starting at pretty much ground zero in terms of his knowledge of what was the expectation was, what his job was, uh, understanding the defensive system. So he, he has really made uh, a lot of progress, and so is Christian. So, uh, and I think it's important for us that those guys continue to develop and can play winning football for us next year. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.